Okay, Hawkeye. Now, you know the rules of, like, the range rules, all the basic safety rules and everything. We've been shooting a lot. We're going to go ahead and we're going to danger this thing up. It's now hot and ready to fire. Ready to shoot? Ryder, you can go ahead and shoot. Well, you must not have loaded around correctly. You can shoot when you're ready, Hawkeye. Good job, son. I heard it ding. Nice, Ryder. Did it sit in there all the way? Yep. Okay. Nice. So it's very windy out today. For an adult, this is not very far. This is like 25 yards. What we have here are 22s. They're bolt actions. They're very accurate. But on a windy day, a 22 is a little bit harder to... It's a little bit hard to make connect with what you want. Hey, take your time, son. We're not speed shooting today. Take your time. Make your shots count. Sometimes we speed shoot and sometimes we don't. Slow, steady squeeze. Control your breathing. Good. All right, Hawkeye, you ready? You got it? My sons have received several hours of instruction. They know how to operate this stuff safely. Hawkeye's getting used to that scope. He's made some long shots with it, but closer shots he hasn't. Uh, Hawkeye, make sure that your rifle is straight up and down when you shoot. You've got it canted right now. It needs to be straight up and down, okay? For right now, what you can do, son, is aim for the big one and see where your shots hit, and that'll let you know how to compensate. I'm going to try to aim for the big one with the that goes Okay, uh, well, we got plenty of ammo. Just make sure that you make sure that rifle is straight up and down, okay? Um, I do teach my sons proper marksmanship, and I also teach them how to use Kentucky windage. Both, to me, are legit forms. You should know how to use both. You're not always going to have time to make those corrections uh, and dial a scope in. You may have to do some offset aiming, some Kentucky windage, and that's part of why we're out here. We shoot all year round. We shoot when it's hot. We shoot when it's cold. We shoot when it's windy, when it's rainy. You know, marksmanship is one of those skills. Excellent work. Wow, you hit one of the little ones. Good. It's one of those skills where y you have to practice it all the time. It's perishable. Uh, see here. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Ryder has, make sure that's pointing straight down range, son. This is a Ruger American. It's a 22. It's the compact version. That thing is a tack driver. It's really accurate. You can get 30 round, 50 round magazines for it and 10 rounders, which he has here. Hawkeye has a Savage Rascal. Uh, I had to get a certain mount for it so that it would take this scope. I think it's a BSA Sweet 22 scope or something like that. Very cool. You can see here it's got, uh, you can adjust like the parallax and everything. And you can adjust your windage and your elevation. Rider, take your time. We're not speed shooting today. Remember that that wind will jack you up if you're going too fast, especially with that round. Try again, son. Aim small, miss small. Remember, you're aiming for a molecule, okay? Good. Hawkeye's a little short. You can see he's going to have to shoot a little bit awkward. And you know what? I... We practice that too. You're not always going to be comfortable when you make a shot. So he shoots sometimes in the prone. Sometimes he's got, you know, a nice resting position. He can sit down and be very comfortable. Other times I let him go ahead and shoot in these different modified positions because he may have to make a shot like that someday. Both of my boys want to, uh, you know, use firearms to make a living when they grow up. Ryder wants to be a tank crewman in the Marines. Hawkeye wants to be a sniper for the police department, and I was an infantryman in the Marines, so I know. Excellent work, son. So I know you're not always going to be comfortable when you have to make a shot. Sometimes you got to, it's almost like you're doing yoga and shooting at the same time. <laughs> so, all right, well, hey, listen, if you want to get your kids into shooting, this gear did not really cost a whole lot. Uh, you can save up for it. I got about... I'm gonna say $350 into this right here when I factor in the uh, the cheek rest and everything. I have under $300 into that. And I didn't get it all overnight, it took time. 
I did that custom paint job on there for them. Riders, we got to go ahead and do that too. Uh, I sprayed the stock green, but they come black, Dad, and then we wrapped it with some camel foam. Dad, this looks like weird. When I take off my glasses, it's easier to see through the sky. Yeah, it is, but here at the range, they make you shoot with safety glasses, and we don't have any clear safety glasses for you. So, But you know what? Sometimes you have to shoot, and your gear doesn't work to your advantage. So it's okay, good practice I still. Glasses. I can see perfectly. I don't see any color. Yeah, yeah. Yours are different than his, son. Hanging out with my dog's head, K-Bar 2. Dad, everything is darker. Yeah, it darkens it up. You're right. Maybe we'll swap some safety glasses after a while. Also, my kids have earplugs in. They have hearing protection. They have eye protection. You know, as I mentioned, they know the range rules. You can see that they keep their weapons pointed down range. Ryder, you should probably straighten that out a little bit. Hang on. Like that? Yep, keep it that way. You had it a little bit offset. We got berms everywhere, but it's still good practice. Point it directly down range. Alright, this has been Matt the Marine. I'm out here teaching my sons how to shoot. And I appreciate you tuning in. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to hit the like button or subscribe. Excellent work, Ghost Rider. And as always, Semper Fi and God bless. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, what's up? I was thinking if you could put those up again. Uh, knock the other ones down first, and then we'll put our weapons on okay. safe. Make sure they're not loaded. And we'll go down and set those targets back up. Good, Hawkeye. I can hear it connecting. Why is it going down? Well, sometimes the 22 isn't enough to knock him down because he's at this range, the 22 range and the pistol ranges are all in one. So those plates are there. They can withstand like a 45 round and they don't always go down when the 45 hits them. They're just stubborn plates, Hawkeye. You're connecting. Yeah, take your time, Ryder. I want to hear that ding. Good. Nice, Hawkeye. Take your time, Ghost Rider. Make sure that you got a supported position. Okay. It's easier when you got some support going on. We only put our, our trigger finger on the trigger when we're going to shoot it, though. Yep, and then, hey, listen. This support hand right here, you can put it under there or you can bring it, relax, underneath here and help tuck it into your shoulder. That's only if, hey listen, this has to be tall enough underneath that though to support it. You don't want to support the whole thing with just your hand, okay? All right, hold up Hawkeye. One thing you do want to do is make sure that your muzzle is not going to shoot your bag. Well, yeah, so anyways, I already said goodbye, but let me go ahead and make another note here. When you're working with kids, they're going to make small mistakes. That is why safety is paramount. You have to watch them like a hawk. You want to make sure they don't hurt their gear. And you see here, he's going to turn his to the side a little bit sometimes. We're the only ones out here. He's not going to hurt anyone, but get on him for the little stuff. It's important that you're patient. Don't flip out on him. Um, you having problems ejecting that round? Yeah. Okay. Call daddy for help if you need help. Hang on. Is it out? Yep, okay, go ahead and reload it. I'm already having this. The scope is not working. Well, son, you're hitting stuff with it, so it is working. You just gotta get used to it. It's probably the glasses and the time of day, bud. We'll swap stuff out in a while and you'll see a difference. But yeah, you know, safety first. Watch them, give them tips, help them out. You're gonna have to tell them more than once. That's okay, they're little, they're gonna learn. Repetition helps a lot. Get them out here as much as you can. You know, uh, just imagine, good job, son. When they grow up, if they need to use a rifle for a living, do you want them to have to learn that on the job after they sign up for the military or the police department or whatever? Or by the time they get that old, do you want them to have thousands of rounds of experience behind them? I want my kids to have thousands of rounds of experience. So that's part of why we're here. All right, um, once again, thanks for tuning in. Semper Fi and God bless. Excellent work, Hawkeye.